one method of bias binding is sometimes referred to um, as a sandwich technique. So you're taking your fabric and you're taking the bias binding and essentially you're folding the binding in half and you are sandwiching it on to the edge of the fabric. So like that you have your fabric and your binding and it gets sandwiched on and then it would be stitched along the top. So I've pressed the bias binding in half and so it can be placed nicely sandwiched around the edge of this fabric. And just pin the binding on to the edge of the fabric. Be sure and have your pins go in the perpendicular direction to the edge so that as you stitch along it will be easy for your hands to take out the pins and be sure that your pin does catch both the layers. So this would be more challenging on the narrower bias bindings or the bias binding that would be made in, say, satin fabric, because it would be slippy. So we're now ready to sew on this bias binding. So I've used a red binding to make it really obvious for the video. And there is a black thread in the machine. So again, the stitching will be quite obvious, hopefully for this video. So you'll be stitching right along the edge of the bias binding, so the, the edge that's folded back under. So you want to be one or two millimeters in from the edge um, along there. Now the important thing is that when you stitch along here, that you're also catching the fabric underneath. So sometimes it's better to err a little bit on the safe side, be a little bit further in from that edge, just in case the edge on the, on, on the other side um, is not being caught by the stitching. So there you have the bias binding stitched on along the edge and we can flip and see that it's also been caught on the other side as well. <laughs>